YouTube, what's going on guys? Mike here. Um, have my earplugs with me. I was just doing another video on a different topic. That's to come out later. But um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Maybe do like a micro little mini series on something really cool that I just actually discovered that's possible. Um, I'm standing right in front of the fig tree here. Uh, we've all seen this one. This is uh, you know the fig tree that's gone through it all. It died down to the roots this past winter and it's obviously doing really well it's huge it's it's enormous bigger than it's ever been but that's not the point of this video today the point of this video is something that's inside this bucket that if you guys had watched my youtube video of um cutting out the the dead branches of this fig tree you would have seen something that i made a mistake and i said ah screw it let's try this out All right, we're definitely making progress on this thing. It, it doesn't even look like uh, it's recognizable anymore. It's a whole different fig tree, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, I made a mistake and I cut the um, a, a new fig growth right off. I don't know, I'm gonna try to do something with it. I'm gonna stick it in water for now uh, and then I'm gonna do some research. Lo and behold, look at that. Can you see that? Let me put it up against the bucket. That is roots. Yeah, that's right, guys. That's roots. Really, really uh, healthy ones, too. This, this fig branch just sat in water. I never changed the water. I just... Um, I just plopped it in there and honestly forgot about it. That seems to be the theme around here with my garden is I'm just forgetting. I have so much going on, so many different plants, projects inside the house. Uh, it's just been wild, so wild summer. But this just did it on its own. So I'll show you that again. Very, very cool. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna let this continue to develop and then I'll check back in with you guys. I'm gonna pot this into some good compost, some light soil. I'm gonna keep it watered really well and I bet you we can't get this thing to root an entire pot. And uh, even better than this, I have also um, another one. Yep, that's it, I have another one. And this one's pretty cool too, if you look at it. I don't know if you could see that really closely. Um, it's, it's all got all these little nodules on it and that, those are actually beginning to just shoot roots right out. So that's really exciting. And like I said, guys, I probably had this thing in maybe two inches of water at the most honestly it might have even ran dry on some days caught it put a little bit of water i didn't do much to these it just uh just kind of did it on its own which is exciting because i'm gonna do this for the rest of the summer i'm probably gonna come and prune and clip and take a dozen or so more cuttings off of this fig tree and do this exact method and see if we can get them to root before the winter comes so uh this is gonna just just reinvigorated my whole uh propagation bone in my body so I mean, what i'm doing right now is i'm just i just filled up this bucket of water here maybe about a quarter of the way i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is come through and i'm just gonna take all of these cuttings or take cuttings off of this the back end of this fig tree that just isn't gonna see sunlight it'll never grow up to see any any uh lighted day for all you know all intents and purposes so uh, i'm gonna take all of these lower cuts just clean this whole back end of this fig tree up where basically it's growing underneath the overhang of my, my sheds here. And I'm gonna clean up around here so it just doesn't take over my little workstation. And with all of that material, what I was originally planning on doing is uh, trying to propagate it in the winter again, but huh, heck, this worked out so well that I'm just gonna go ahead and do that uh, and, and call that good, let's see what happens, make it, you know, we have the rest of August, September, and then into October before it gets too cold for things to start to root. So let's see what we can do. Alrighty, I got my hand pruners, my handy dandy, trusty, favorite hand pruners here. And I'm just gonna disinfect them with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Uh, I was pruning um, a piece of like rotted or, or diseased cherry tree with these recently. And I don't know what that was. I can't really get a good idea on it. Um, the internet says a lot of different things, as you guys might know when you search on the internet. It's doom and gloom for everything. So just to play on the air is uh, caution. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit these with alcohol. So I just did that, right, rub it in a little bit, make sure we get all the cutting surfaces, a nice 
coated with alcohol. And matter of fact, now that I'm touching this, I'm gonna sharpen this real quick. So I'll be right back. All right, I got a, um, this is a little file. This is mainly for like a, a chainsaw, a bar file. It's, ra it's a rounded file. But I think just to get a good quick edge on these uh, printers, I think it's fine, so. Just going in a circular motion. Let's see if I can show you guys a little better. Just going in a circular motion like this, just on the edge of the blade there, so I can see exactly like where I have the I have the blade pointed toward my face, like this. And what I'm doing is I'm looking down range. Maybe I can show you guys a little better. Whoops. So I'm going like this. I'm just seeing right where that edge meets the the file. And you'll feel a little bit of resistance on your file. That's what you want. You want just a little bit of resistance. And once you start to get a good uh, idea, go a little faster, and then you'll see on your blade a change in like the color. You see that shine right there? That's what you're looking for. You're basically taking off the patina um that was there you're bringing it down to bare metal and then you're rolling your your file forward once you see that and bringing it as close to the edge as you can and as you touch it the edge will get sharper you'll definitely feel the difference of the sharpness if you want to take it a step further you can take a leather strop and you can strop it this way and then come this way and that, that basically takes the little metal burr that we're creating off for this I'm not going to do that. We're dealing with a really soft um, fig tree. This is going to cut right through. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's jump into cutting the fig tree. All right, that should do it. I uh, got quite a few. What's really cool about these fig trees is you can just see all that milk, that fig juice just coming right out. It can be an irritant to some skin types if you're pretty uh, sensitive skin. I wouldn't touch this. I believe it's caustic. It's one of the two. It's either low on the pH or high on the pH range. So regardless, it might irritate you. Um, but anyway, what I just did was I took a bunch. I wanna get these processed before I take some more. So let me move you guys over to our bucket here, and I'll show you what I'm doing to process these guys. All right, there you go. So, uh, basically we don't need any of these leaves, well, a couple, but not many, all, especially these bottom leaves. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut the, all these bottoms right off. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave the top two leaves and then even with those, I'm gonna just cut them in half too. We used to do this with, uh, with hemp, hemp plants you can do this with, where you kind of cut the leaf. I never did it with fig tree before, uh, but we could try it. Yeah, hemp was a really big crop that everybody grew out in, when I lived out in Oregon. And I learned a lot from the guys out there. So this was one of those tricks is cut the leaves so that number one, the, this little stick with no roots doesn't have to uh, supply water to, to keep those, those leaves nice and full. And also it, when you're packing a lot of cuttings in a tiny area like this bucket, um, it just makes it a little bit neater, a little cleaner. But it's still giving the plant or this little stick uh, the photosynthesis that it needs to generate roots. Also, I left a little bit of the nodes on the leaves where the leaves were. I'm hoping that those callus over and they become little areas for roots to blow out of too. So this is all just experimental for me, guys. I really don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I've seen online hundreds of videos of how people propagate figs in the winter or from, uh, from a hardened off um, cut, but these are just softwood figs. I've read that you can't really, they don't have a great success, but I just had 100% success with those two that you just saw. So um, we're gonna go for that again. We're gonna try to recreate that. If this works, guys, huh, 
I might be onto something. I might, uh, I might go buck wild with this whole tree and just try to propagate next summer um, hundreds and hundreds of fig trees. So that'll be something to look forward to. But we got to start on the ground first, crawling before we can start running. So let's uh, <laughs> let's not put the the cart in front of the horse. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna. You know, I think I'm gonna do some with the cut leaf and others without. Let's see if that has anything to do with it. We'll run a little bit of a control experiment, right? All right, I think that's about as much as I could fit in this bucket. I left uh, two, fig, uh, two leaves on each tree, each plant. Um, I think that's plenty for photosynthesis and uh, some I cut others I didn't so we'll see like um, we'll see what the, the full leaf if it becomes too much uh, if, it, if we start to see like mold growing I think these lower leaves that aren't see gonna see much sunlight they might die off I'm trying to give each cut um, some 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 light here that it can get make sure that they're not all so packed together but that's about 10 cuts in one bucket. I, I, that's what I feel um, just about, just about I don't think I can get any more in there. So that'll be, that'll be pretty good. So that's it guys, I'm gonna put this aside. And uh, this is a cool little project that I wasn't expecting to do today. So uh, we'll see, we'll check back in with this and see where we go. All right guys, we're back to this little fig propagation project that we have going on. Uh, just a, maybe a week, two weeks later after that initial cut of these, this batch. This batch is doing great. We're gonna pot these today because these are ready. Let me just show you those. Um, I don't know if you could see this, but there are a ton of roots going on at the bottom of here. This is ready to be transplanted, no doubt. So we're gonna transplant these two into some soil. So stick around for that. But I just wanted to do a little update on this. Uh, so remember when we cut some of the leaves and we left some long? Turns out looks like the cut leaves are doing just fine. And they're actually, I would say, are doing a little bit better than the ones that we left just long. They're, everything's drooping, everything's wilting a little bit, but nothing is dead. So that's, uh, that's important to note. So everything's just kind of wilting a little and and to be honest I, I probably should have taken some more leaves off now that I'm seeing it but let me show you this guys let's see let's go down to this bucket if you can see that all those little white dots are root nodules starting to form so this is August so this water and we're just sitting right outside uh, just to show you the um, we're right outside my my little overhang here. This is where you know the overpass that's the fig tree And this is just in the shade. So we're in the heat of the day. It's about 1 30 2 o'clock And uh, that's as far as the Sun comes so these sit in full shade 24 7 or I guess whenever the Sun is up um, and they they the water is pretty warm because it's August here It's might be 90 degrees out today. So this water is warm. I don't know the temperature uh, but Anyway, that's what we're getting. I'll bring you back in there one more time to, to really take a look and see all those little white dots on the base that's right under the water level. It might be hard to see, but those are all root nodules starting to form. So things are happening in this bucket. Uh, even though it looks like they're stressed and they're wilting, which they certainly are, uh, like the, the leaves, I'm probably moving forward, gonna cut them like I did with, with half of them. Those look like they're doing great. Um, this one I didn't cut and uh, yeah that's that's the update on the the new bucket that I did we're probably a week uh, or two into it so this one we're maybe approaching eight weeks and it's ready it is certainly ready so let's get ready let's uh, let's prepare I, 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 I prepared some soil here um, I didn't do much this is just compost that I make uh, some leaf mold that I make and then some potting soil that I just salvaged from some uh, some other pots that we had on the deck So nothing too crazy. The soil's uh, soil's in good shape It's got roots in it still because of it's you know, like I said, it's salvaged potting soil um, Some of it's you know, really fine light fluffy composty material. I didn't pre-wet this yet, but I uh, I probably should I'll probably give this a little pre-moisten and then uh, the pots are half full. I'll show you what I do. I'm just gonna lay the, the fig cutting down in here and then backfill over very gently so that we don't break any of those delicate roots. 
Um, so let me set you guys up on the tripod right there. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to, to potting these, these new fig cuttings. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, I got you propped up right above the wheelbarrow here where I'm going to be doing these transplants, but I just wanted to go over something really quickly. Um, I'm going to be amending the, the brand new roots with mycorrhiza fungi. So uh, this is what I use. This is the product that I've always used. I'll always continue to use it. This is called Mycos. It's by Extreme Gardening. Uh, it's a granulated mycorrhiza fungi. They make a powdered form. Uh, mainly that's water soluble for like brewing and tea. But this is just a powder, it's a granulated form um, of mycorrhiza. And I did a quick, uh, a quick search and I found that uh, fig trees do indeed associate with mycorrhiza fungi. Um, I believe they said ecto mycorrhiza, but don't quote me on that one. But this uh, mycorrhiza fungi has a couple different types of uh, mycorrhiza. So um, definitely go ahead, pick this up. I don't have an Amazon store yet. Amazon actually told me that I, I'm not good enough. I'm not a good enough YouTuber to have an Amazon affiliated account. So just search it on Amazon. You could find it there. And um, maybe in the future, I'll have a, a little bit of a uh, association with them, but not today. Anyway, let's get right into the uh, right into this. So I want to show you guys the roots first of these fig trees, um, these fig cuttings that I that I made. And, uh, and here we are. Man, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. that. The roots just absolutely blew out of this thing, which is so cool. It calloused up. And you can see these weren't like clean cuts that I made. This was an accident. I did this with a saw, cutting or, uh, dead branches off my fig tree. You could see like just the sheer abuse that the bottom of this cut took. You can see there's, there's you know, slashes of where the saw accidentally cut. This was a complete accident. It just goes to show, guys, that... You know, fig trees, figs, they want to root. You know, you really got to force them not to root. So that's, uh, that's awesome. Now, um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to dust them with the mycorrhiza fungi. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle the mycorrhiza over this just so, the, just so that they know that the roots got a good inoculation. And uh, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to pot this. Probably just kind of sink a little hole down in here and just very gently um, you know fill this back in and then I was gonna cover this with soil just so that it's nice and sturdy um, which I'm gonna be burying some of the, the non rooted fig um, a little bit of that I'm also gonna I'm not filling this pot all the way to the top with soil it's just these are like three maybe four gallon pots um, they're pretty big for this. This is just what I had on hand, so I'm not going to fill it up all the way. But that's really all I'm doing there. Very nice. So I'm happy with that. Standing upright. I'm going to get some water in these. Um, I don't want to dry these out because don't forget these fig cuttings, they're used to being submerged in water 100% of the time. So that's uh we don't want to let these dry out for any period i don't want to shock them but look at this one now holy cow this this one obviously it laid from here down in the water so everywhere that the water touched it rooted this one i want to lay like into the into the pot kind of like this so it's going to look awkward coming out of the pot it's going to look like um like it's coming out of the side over here but that's because i want good a good root system and next year i'm sure it's going to shoot new growth up out of the center of the pot and then i'll probably prune this off and I'll, all the growth that you see this is the old growth i'll probably prune this once new growth is established and then i'll, I'll transplant it into the ground or into a larger pot at that time but for now, um, you know, it'll look a little awkward, look a little funny, but these are for me. I'm not, I'm not planning on selling these. This is, this is just a little, honestly, an accidental project that I started. So um, just doing that same sprinkle with the mycorrhiza, get it on the roots. And then this one, I'm gonna do a little differently. I'm not gonna dig in at all. I'm just gonna gently lay over, um, just kinda lay the soil right in on top of the roots. Just like that. Mm -hmm. 
nothing too crazy nothing too crazy here just some good organic soil homemade it probably has weeds in it probably has some weed seeds in this soil i mean this was this stuff was just kind of sitting in my back lot so it's not you know this isn't you can probably get better soil than what i made but like i said i like to keep things super organic and there's nothing more organic than what you can make in your backyard in my opinion so that's that's the uh that's the transplanting procedure let's get some water on these guys all right so let me show you guys what i got here i'm just using a wand let me uh it's just i got maybe a three foot wand it's got the shower head top on it the key is I don't want to really hurt these roots. So this wand has a setting that I can go full power or I can go very little. So I'm gonna put this on the lowest setting here, my hose, and I'm just gonna really delicately water this in. Oh, um, I really, like I said, I wanna saturate this really, really good, have it really wet because the, uh, the, the roots that developed were submerged in water 100%. So they're gonna naturally be a little bit more resistant to like root rot. Um, I would, I would, I would assume, I'm guess, because they developed and submerged in water 100%. But with that same token, I'm sure they're very susceptible to dry conditions. So once this soil begins to dry out, I'm going to go ahead and, and guess that the roots can really be, uh, you know, shocked if not killed by dry conditions. So I don't want to let these pots dry out for any period of time, um, especially in these this hot time of year. We're still in August and things are very hot. So um, yeah, that's that's really it. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna make sure that these are nice and, and wet at all times, good good saturation. And also I'm gonna keep these in 100% shade still too. I'm not really focused on like uh, like leaf growth or, or the, these, fig, these fig trees like producing anything this year. I just wanna establish this root system really well for the rest of the growing season this year and then let it go dormant in the winter and then come back next year and when it comes back next year that's when i really want to focus on like fertilizing making sure that i'm getting good organic fertilizers in here let the let the plant really do what the plant wants to do and that's produce delicious figs so um yeah that's the uh that's really the end of of this video i think i mean this was a pretty cool um side project that i wasn't intending but it turned out to be pretty fun so i hope that you guys uh maybe learned something from this and um yeah let's uh let's do the outro here all right guys so that's the end of the video here this was a a pretty cool opportunity to just you know do something new i, I really uh this was honestly a, a mistake i didn't mean for this to root or just kind of threw them in that bucket and then saw where it went didn't do much research on it but it worked out and uh, i'm hoping that these you know take they don't die off because there is a chance that the roots are shocked and they die off which you know fair enough i mean we just completely change their environment around but i'm hoping that these do well i'm gonna really baby them and that that's a wrap on this one so uh, i'll keep an update i'll keep updating you guys in future videos on how this bucket works this is the the bucket that i took earlier in this video as of right now the roots are forming the leaves are a little wilted but they're not dead so that's uh that's all we have right now today with that I'll keep you updated. These I'll keep you updated on, but I'm gonna wrap this video up and put it up so you guys can see this cool stuff. Maybe it's not too late for you guys to try this uh, on your fig tree. Just, you know, it's, it's August today. I'm gonna get this up as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. So if you made it this far, <laughs> give me the thumbs up. It really helps. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see for, more from me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.